Before we start, let's quickly review PDF Element Pro from Wondershare. This application is available on both Windows and Mac, covering major operating system versions. Using this application you can edit PDFs by modifying text content of each lines and paragraphs. You can change font type, font color and format paragraphs by making use of align, line spacing, character spacing options. Basically you have control over smallest text elements. Also you can edit images with different formats like JPEG, PNG, GIF and many more. Using this application you can create forms easily by making use of text field, checkbox, list box, radio button and drop downs. It also supports OCR with many languages shown on screen. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. You can create watermarks into your PDF using text and as well as images. Apart from editing PDFs, you can make use of this application to create PDFs from different file formats like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, JPEG, PNG, GIF, text, HTML and many more. It also supports batch creation with literally no file limit. In reverse way, PDF element also lets you to convert one or more PDFs into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, JPEG, PNG, GIF, text, HTML as well. Again supports batch creation with no file limit. Last but not the least, using PDF element you can encrypt your PDFs with encryption levels up to 256 bits and permission for copy, edit and print PDFs. To put it in a nutshell. PDF Element is all-in-one PDF solution product and is also the best alternative to Adobe Acrobat Reader. Please go and check out this product. Download links are available in video description. Welcome back. In this video we are going to create this simple and professional infographic design. Let's get started. First, enable guides and format background with radial gradient. Make it a two-step gradient and change direction through center. Also, change the gradient color to light gray color. Now let's draw rectangle. Remember, it must not have to be perfect square. Increase its transparency. Now duplicate this rectangle three times. Adjust their dimensions and place them in pattern as shown. By the way, shortcut key to duplicate shape is Ctrl plus D. Bring bigger rectangle to front and let's apply linear gradient color to other three rectangles. Linear gradient must be of two steps. Change the colors as per your requirement. At this point, feel free to experiment with different colors. Also apply solid white color outline with width of 2 points. Continue to format other two rectangles in same style, but with different gradient directions and colors.
Now for big rectangle shape, apply solid color. Adjust its transparency and apply white color outline with width of 2 points. Now select all shapes and apply shadow effect. Play with transparency and blur settings until you get desired effect. Adjust the dimensions and transparency if required. Finally add text fields. Let's slightly speed up to save time. So, here is the final preview. Looks perfect.